Pearl Tutorial Part 12 The While Loop and the Until Loop The While Loop will um, execute a condition while that condition remains true so this is the form of the while loop so while something in between these brackets remains true we will do something in these brackets now while loops there's really no way to do a while loop without doing a counter well there possibly is but generally not so we've got a counter here as you've seen and um, we can set that to 1 or 0 or whatever number we like really so while count is less than or equal to 10 let's print hello and of course we need to increment our counter automatically at the end of each loop so while count is less or equal to 10 print hello count plus plus so starting from 1 while 1 is less than or equal to 10 print hello that'll change the 1 to 2 while 2 is less than or equal to 10 print hello etc so let's run this we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hellos which is what we wanted from that so there's a basic while loop now we can apply a while loop to arrays we can print out arrays with the for each loop as um, we've seen before now let's create an array of animals so to create our while loop we need a counter and we'll set our counter to zero because arrays are indexed from zero so that makes it easy and at the end we will also increment our counter so let's um, while count is less than or equal to how many things in our array there's five but we actually call it four because we're thinking back one because we're starting from item zero so zero one two three four while count is less than or equal to four print our array items so array count on new line okay so let's run this okay frog dog cat bird elephant let's print it out each thing in our array now we might not know how many things are in our array so earlier on I've shown you how to acquire the number of things in an array so let's run this frog dog cat bird elephant so it does the same thing although this is a much better way of doing it because at some stage later on we will be getting to arrays with hundreds or even thousands of pieces of data and we don't really want to sit there and count them so this makes it easy okay and I'd now like to show you the reverse of the while loop and that's 
the until loop so using the same array let me copy it again down here using the same array the until loop executes code while the condition remains false so again we need to have a counter so count equals zero and we need to increment our count automatically at the end okay so to loop through this array until something happens we'll print out items from the array so okay I will put a new set of brackets in here and type in array so for each of these items array count so we're going to go through these so until e uh, one of these items equals bird will print the items out okay so until frog equals bird well it doesn't print frog until dog equals bird print dog until cat equals bird print cat until bird equals bird well it does so until that happens it's going to stop this loop there so we're going to print out frog dog cat until one of these equals bird we'll print each one out so let's run that okay yeah frog dog cat so we could set this to cat and we'll get frog dog frog dog if we want to print all of them out we can just empty that so until one of these equals nothing so basically until it gets to the end print them out and frog dog cat bird elephant So that's the reverse of the while loop, the until loop.